trying to make it. Is that you? Uh, we're live. Okay. Well, good morning. Good morning. And at this time, will sergeants please start their recordings? PC recording has started. Recording to the cloud, all set. Backup is rolling. Thank you. And good morning. And welcome to today's remote New York City Council vote on the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. At this time, would all council members and council staff please turn on their video. To minimize disruption, please place electronic devices on vibrate or silent mode. Thank you, Chair Cohen. We are ready to begin. Excellent. Good morning. My name is Andrew Cohen and I am the chair of the Committee on Consumer Affairs and Business Licensing. Thank you for joining us today for this remote virtual vote on introduction 1170A sponsored by Council Member Torres in relation to requiring businesses to notify customers of the use of biometric identifier technology and prohibiting the sale of biometric identifier information. I would like to acknowledge my colleagues on the committee, uh, Council Member Kozlowitz, Council Member Yeager, Council Member Lander, Council Member Brannon, and I think that's it. Hey. Oh, and Council Member Koo, I'm sorry, Peter. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent, good to see you, yeah. Peter. Uh, as the chair of consumer affairs, it is of the utmost importance to me that New Yorkers receive honest, transparent, and fair treatment from retailers and other commercial establishments. Developments in facial recognition and other biometric technology pose new consumer protection challenges in an atmosphere where there are already growing concerns about privacy and personal data. While this technology has the potential to be utilized in a number of positive ways, there are several valid concerns that legislatures across the country are just beginning to address. Facial recognition remains an imperfect technology with a tendency to misidentify people, especially people of color, at very high rates. At times, this technology has even led to the arrest and detention of the wrong person, an outcome that can have life-threatening impacts. These are outcomes we as a city simply cannot allow. We have also heard that companies developing this type of software sometimes resort to unethical or deceitful tactics to expand their databases or improve their products. For example, last year, Google hired contractors to deliberately target people of color, encouraging them to scan their faces in exchange for a $5 gift card so that it could improve its new Pixel device. According to news reports, the contractors were told to go after people of color conceal the fact that the people's faces were being recorded and even lie to maximize their data collections. It was even suggested that the contractors described the face scans as a kind of selfie game similar to Snapchat. Currently, businesses in New York City are not required to inform customers that their biometric information, such as face or fingerprint scan, is being collected, stored, or sold by such establishments. These kinds of deceptive practices are simply not acceptable. While we certainly do not want to stand in the way of technological advancements, given the current lack of regulation, oversight, and oversight of biometric identifier information, we must do what we can as a city to protect New Yorkers' privacy and information. That is why I'm proud to be holding this vote on intro 1170, which would require businesses to notify customers if they're collecting biometric information of customers and would prohibit any sale of this information. Uh, before we proceed to the vote, I would just like to thank the committee staff, Balkis Mergig, Senior Counsel of the Consumer Affairs Committee, Leah Seprzak, and Noah Mixler, Policy Analyst to the committee, Florentine Kalbor, Finance Analyst, and I'm sorry, my house phone, old fashioned house phone, um, and my Legislative Director, Patty and Trader. I'd also like to thank the Sergeant at Arms and all the council staff that make these virtual hearings possible. I will now ask the clerk to call the roll call on intro 11780A. Thank you. Morning, everyone. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on consumer affairs and business licensing, introduction 1170A, Chair Cohen. I can't believe we're letting Richie pass another bill on the way out, but I'll vote for it. Aye. Yeah. Ku. Aye. Kozlowitz. Aye. Lander. Aye. Brannon. Aye. Jaeger. May I be excused to explain my vote? Please. Of course. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. First, uh, uh, I just want to thank you for, for your leadership. Uh, I don't know if we're gathering together as a committee uh, between now and, and the first of the year, um, but you will be going on to bigger and better and greater. And I really just want to thank you for your friendship, your leadership, and uh, uh, for what you've taught me in your time in the council and just for being a good friend. Um, on this bill, I, uh, I will be voting in favor of it, but I just want to briefly explain. Um, I, I have uh, always said I have a reluctance to, uh, to adopting new laws uh, in New York City on matters not previously legislated that don't provide for, in the first instance of a violation, a warning uh, instead of a fine and penalty. Um, but on this topic, I think it's, it's, it's that important that I will, I will uh, back away from my, from my always rule, which I guess is no longer an always rule. Um, uh, some of the things that, that we've seen and we've heard about the, the way that facial technology is used, retained, um, uh, and particularly the way it's uh, targeted um, either by intent or at least by result uh, to, to hurt uh, uh, minorities, uh, particularly uh, blacks, um, because of the way the technology works or because of the way it's designed, uh, requires that we step in and do something. And so uh, for that reason, um, and because uh, uh, ideas that come out of uh, Richie Torres usually are good ones, I will vote in favor of it. Um, but I just wanted to explain why I'm deviating from my general rule on this. Thank you, Gavin. Thank you. By a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, introduction 1170A has been adopted by the committee. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much, everybody. This concludes uh, the committee meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Peter. Congratulations, Peter. Good job. Good job. I, I want to congratulate you to become the Supreme Court Justice uh, starting Thank this year. Thank you very much, Peter. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. It's stated.